Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. It's time for another fragrance battle. In this video, I'm going to compare for you two alternatives to part from the Marley's Herald. On one hand, a straight up clone of Herald, which is called Hercules and it comes from Mason Alhambra. And then on the other hand, the Armaf Radical Brown, which is more of an alternative to Herald. If you enjoy my work, if you enjoy my videos, I would greatly appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. Now, as usual, I'm going to compare the two fragrances in a total of five categories. I'm going to compare them uh, when it comes to uh, packaging and bottle design. The second round will be about the scent profile. The third round is going to be about performance. The fourth round is going to be about pricing. And the fifth round is going to be about versatility. And then at the end of the video, I will tell you which is the winner in this fragrance battle. Now, the packages, the, the boxes that the two fragrances come packaged with look like this. This is the uh, packaging of uh, Mason Alhambra Hercules. As you can see, it's very simple packaging and uh, actually it resembles very closely the original uh, packaging of uh, Parfum de Marley's Herald. And this is how the uh, box of uh, the Armaf Radical Brown looks. Uh, it feels like it has a lot higher quality uh, the whole uh, sort of uh, cardboard feels a lot thicker and as uh, one of my uh, viewers mentioned uh, when I reviewed uh, the um, Radical Brown, this looks like a, sort of a, like a, a chocolate box. All in all, I think when it comes to the actual packaging, the better looking packaging, the higher quality packaging is uh, on the Armaf fragrance. And when it comes to the bottle design, this is the bottle design of uh, Hercules. Uh, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of this bottle design. Also, the sign of uh, Mason Alhambra in here is slightly crooked. Uh, the whole uh, cap feels very cheap, very light, and I don't like the way that uh, it looks, the design. The bottle itself has a nice, nice heft to it, but all in all, I'm not the biggest fan of this bottle. And then this is how the uh, bottle of the Radical Brown looks. Uh, in my opinion, this has um, a lot better quality when it comes to the design when it comes to the build quality and all in all i think that the winner in round number one packaging and bottle design is definitely armaf radical Brown. round number two is about the scent of the two fragrances i'll spray them on each hand uh, this is the armaf radical brown now one thing i don't like about this fragrance is the weak sprayer and then this is the uh, mason alhambra on my right hand the sprayer here is actually slightly better. Now, as I said in the opening of this video, both fragrances can be looked at as alternatives to Par from the Marley's Hero, meaning that they're sweet, tobacco based fragrances, dark, you know, and good for cold weather usage. But there are some differences. On one hand, the Mason Alhambra is a straight up clone of Hero. And with this fragrance, it's all about the tobacco note with uh, the added sweet notes in here, like amber, like vanilla. It's uh, a little bit more like a, a simpler, it has a little bit more of a simpler scent profile. And it does a pretty good job uh, emulating the uh, scent of Herod. This has a very strong tobacco note, sweet tobacco note, very strong amber and very strong vanilla notes. When it comes to uh, Radical Brown, to my nose, this has slightly higher quality, the scent profile of this fragrance. Uh, it's a bit more complex. Here, again, you have a tobacco note, but it's not as strong as with Hercules. Also, you got some sweet notes like vanilla and amber in here as well, but there's some added spices, some added woods. I also pick up a touch of a, like a cherry note in this fragrance as well in uh, Radical Brown. And all in all, I think this is um, the better scent, in my opinion. So the winner of round number two, in my opinion, is uh, Armaf Radical Brown. But if you're looking at this uh, in an, from another point of view, and you, if you're looking for the closest thing that will get you to, apart from the Marley's Hero, then definitely your personal winner should be Mason Alhambra Hercules. Round number three is about performance. Now, the two fragrances have pretty similar performance, uh, but uh, when we talk about the uh, performance, the staying power on skin, for me, Mason Alhambra Hercules is the, the winner of uh, this uh, fragrance battle of this round. I get about somewhere about seven to maybe close to eight hours of performance out of Hercules, whereas the Radical Brown gives me about seven hours. So maybe like half an hour or an hour longer uh, performance on skin 
и са Fall Mason, Alhambra, Hercules. When we talk, when we talk about projection, again, they project for equally the same amount of time, somewhere between an hour to an hour and a half, but uh, Hercules is definitely a stronger projecting fragrance, whereas the uh, Radical Brown is uh, a little bit more modest when it comes to projection. So the winner of round number three, the performance round, goes to the the win goes to uh, Mason Alhambra Hercules. Round number four is about pricing. And here the cheaper fragrance is actually the winner in this round. And for me, the winner is Mason Alhambra Hercules. Now, both fragrances can be considered cheapies because both cost around about $30 or less. But I'll quote my uh, personal experience with the pricing. And for me to acquire the Hercules, I had to pay the equivalent of about $25. Whereas uh, Armaf Radical Brown, uh, in order to acquire this one, I paid slightly uh, less than $30. So the winner in round number four, the pricing round, is Mason Alhambra Hercules. And the final round, round number five, is about versatility. Now this round is going to be a draw between the two fragrances because they have very similar scent profiles. You know, they're uh, fragrances that contain a lot of sweetness, uh, tobacco notes, they're warm, they're sweet. They're slightly dark and so they're best suited for cold weather usage. Now, you can wear both of the both of those two fragrances in warmer weather as well, as long as you don't overspray. Also, both of them are can be considered uh, unisex fragrances that slightly lean towards the uh, you know the male side. So, round number 5 versatility is going to be a draw between the two fragrances. And so, on to the final results of this fragrance battle and my final thoughts about the two fragrances. Now, simply looking at the points, uh, the winner should be Mason Alhambra Hercules. This fragrance is a little bit cheaper, has a little bit better performance, and especially for people that are looking for the closest thing to Parfum de Marnes Herod, uh, you know, Hercules will get you scent-wise very, very close to the original scent. And so, the sort of the scientific winner of this fragrance battle is going to be Mason Alhambra Hercules. But if I have to pick up a personal winner out of the two fragrances, it's going to be the Armaf Radical Brown. I think this has a slightly higher quality scent-wise. It's a little bit better blended. I like uh, the bottle design a little bit more. It has slightly higher quality when it comes to the whole bottle design and packaging. And I also love this sort of a cherry note that I get out of the uh, Radical Brown. So, scientific winner, Mason Alhambra Hercules, my personal winner, Armaf Radical Brown. And so, in this fragrance battle, I compared for you two very budget-friendly alternatives to Parfum de Marlis Herald, Mason Alham Alhambra Hercules and Armaf Radical Brown. I hope that you found this video interesting or helpful. If you did, give it a like, and I also hope that I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.